How American is your car? Many Americans consider where products are being made in hopes that their purchase will contribute to the U.S. economy. Well, that might seem easy enough with a t-shirt or a few items, but it gets a little bit more complicated when you're talking about the wheels that are in your driveway. For car shoppers who want to buy American-made vehicles, Cars.com American-Made Index analyzes a range of factors to determine just how American your prospective car or truck might be. Did you know that more than 5.3 million jobs go to American workers in the automotive industry? That's over 290,000 people building light and heavy duty trucks, 560,000 working on vehicle parts, 1.3 million workers at new and used dealer car shops, 1.26 million independent repair shop employees, 587,000 auto parts stores, 368,000 wholesalers, and 975 workers in gas stations. That's a lot of people. Are you willing to pay more for a vehicle if it's built in the U.S. and creates jobs? Well, around 70% of car shoppers say yes and are willing to pay up to 30% more. Now, here is the 2023 Cars.com American Made Index to celebrate Independence Day. First, I want to remind you to subscribe and click that little bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. We give you more than car reviews and first looks of new vehicles, we give you car smarts because knowledge is power. Vehicles built and bought in the U.S. for 2023 model year were weighted in five different factors or categories on a 100-point scale by country of origin for engines, transmissions, U.S. manufacturing workforce, location of final assembly, and percentage of U.S. and Canadian parts. For 2023, the top 10 domestic manufacturers are number 10, Hyundai Motor Company at 40.2%. Number nine, Mercedes-Benz at 41.5%. Eight, Toyota Motor Company at 48.9%. Seven, Renault, Nissan, Mitsubishi at 49.1%. Number six, General Motors, 54%. Number five, Subaru at 58.5%. Number four, Stellantis at 70.1%. Number three, Honda at 73.1%. Number two, Ford Motor Company, 77.5%. And number one, yes, it's Tesla at 100% built in the US. So what cars made the list? Well, number one should not surprise you, the Tesla Model Y built in Austin, Texas. Number two, the Tesla Model 3 in Fremont, California. Number three, the Tesla Model X in Fremont, California. Number four, the Tesla Model S in Fremont, California. Now let's get to the non-Tesla products. Number five, the Honda Passport in Lincoln, Alabama. Number six, the Volkswagen ID4, their new EV in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Number seven, the Honda Odyssey in Lincoln, Alabama. Number eight, the Acura MDX in East Liberty and Marysville, Ohio. Number nine, the Honda Ridgeline in Lincoln, Alabama. And number 10, the Acura RDX in East Liberty, Ohio. Here are some of the final facts that will definitely interest you. The General Motors makes up to 18% of the index. Toyota makes up to 11% of the index. And Southern states are seeing more growth with domestic and foreign automakers making investments in those states to move or increase the number of plants in those areas. What about the least American cars? BMWs are mostly imported except for its SUV lineup, which is produced in South Carolina, not including the X1 and the X2. The Dodge Challenger, Dodge Charger, and the Lincoln Nautilus are made in Canada. The Buick Envision is made in China. The Ford Maverick and Ford Bronco Sport and Ram 1500 Classic are built in Mexico. And the Buick Encore GX and the Genesis GV70 are built in South Korea. 47% of all vehicles sold in the U.S. are imported. Being on this list is crucial as the auto industry becomes more and more global and consumers desire to use their dollars to support their neighbors and increase jobs to help the economy on a national and a local basis. Perhaps the most important factor for the index qualification is final assembly at one of the 48 U.S. plants run by 14 major automaker groups and their subsidiaries that currently mass produce light duty passenger vehicles. So if you're looking for an American-made car to help your friends and neighbors, you now have the list. 
If you like this video, you can give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any questions or comments, I'll be happy to answer them. You can support me by buying me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description, plus all the links for our website, social media, the book, and the podcast. I'm Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching.